Hey there, what's up? It's Joey, and today we are taking a look at FTL Faster Than Light, and a game on the PC. Um, just gonna be doing a little video here, running through the basics of the game. Normally, you would hit New Game, which would take you to your ship selection screen, but I've already got a game started up, which we are going to jump right into. Here is what the game is going to basically look like for the whole time. Bottom left, you've got your main systems and your reactor, which powers the systems. Left click the system to put more power into it. More power means it works better, but you can take power out of it so that other systems can work like your weapons. Weapons, you can left click them so you can target with them. You can hit auto fire and it will keep them targeted on the uh, place that you targeted them in the first place. Each weapon has a cooldown rate and number of energy bars that it takes up. We'll be looking at those more once we get into some combat. Bottom right, we have our subsystems, which aren't quite as active as the normal systems, but still helpful. Got our door controls here, which I didn't notice for the longest time. These are helpful if you're dealing with intruders or fires because you open it up to the outside, drains all the oxygen out. No oxygen means that bad people can't breathe and that fires can't be there. So, always be sure to use that because it will make sure that you don't have to take up the time of your crew members, which you can select and move about to different rooms where they can either repair a system or they can man a station. Now there are only stations that they can man in the engine room, the weapon room, and the shield room where they can provide a small bonus to each of those systems. Also, always need to make sure that you've got somebody in the pilot seat or else you're not going to be able to jump. And you need to jump to play the game. So don't do that. Over on the left we have the various um, crew members and their stats. If they stay on a particular system or do a particular task enough times, they will level up and then be better at doing that task. Top left we have the hull, which is your health. Hull hits zero and that's it, game over. You're not going to play anymore because you are going to blow up. Shields are like your regenerative health. They will absorb hits from enemy ships and then come back. So always want to make sure your shields are as fully charged and taken care of as possible. Here you have your three consumables in the game, your fuel, which is used up every time you make a jump, missiles, which are used up every time you shoot your missile launcher, and drone parts, which if we had any drones would be used every time we deployed a drone. But the Kestrel, which is what we're using here, does not have a drone system, so no need for drone parts. Scrap, which is listed here, is the currency in the game. You can use that in shops to buy stuff, or you can use it in your ship screen to provide upgrades to your ship. You can put it into a system to upgrade it, or you can put it to the reactor to give yourself more power. Also on the screen, you can look at uh, your crew members a little bit closer, or you can look at your equipment, where it again lists your weapons, your drones, and cargo which is where things that you find along the way will be put. Also listed is any augmentations you may have started with or found along the way. So that's the look at the screen. Let's go ahead and jump. Here is the beacon map where you jump from star system to star system to get from the left side to the little green exit system. Basically, as we're going along, the Rebel Fleet is going to be coming in from the right and chasing across the galaxy, so you can't dilly-dally too long, and you've always got to be making your way towards the exit. There are a couple different uh, types of beacons that you might see, that sometimes they'll have a little distress right next to them, which means you're guaranteed to get an encounter there, or they might have store, which is a store, which is where you buy things. So, let's jump and see what we can see. Here, we have an instance where we can choose whether we want to fight or not. In this case, we can give one of our crew members over to the slavers, or we can fight, which we're obviously going to do, because we never surrender to slaver scum. So, here we are in the battle, music changes, you can hit spacebar to pause, which is helpful if things start getting a little hectic. You can note the different types of weapons that the enemy ships will have, you um, you can tell what kind of ship it, or what kind of weapon it is just from the appearance. 
strategy we're going to be using here, we're going to use our missiles which bypass shields to take out their shield room. And once their shields are down, we'll hit them with our lasers and their weapon room to take out their weapons. After that, it'll just be trivial, just taking out the rest of their hull. Um, right here we've got auto fire on, which means if I were to turn that off, then once it shoots, we would have to retarget it. And if I kept it on, the missiles would keep shooting at that room. We're going to have to turn that off. They just saw an ion blast at us, which might disable our shields, which it did, but we took out their shields. But, unfortunately, after our shields got taken down, they shot a laser beam, which is currently destroying our weapons. Weapons get damaged, which means we can't put enough power in it to power our burst laser. So, we're just going to have to wait for our missiles to come back, and then we'll put a missile into their weapon system. Meanwhile, Mort here is going to be working on repairing the weapons. Another uh, ion blast coming in to hit the shields again, which is unfortunate. Missile's ready, we put it right into the missiles. Oh, look at that. Oftentimes, enemy ships will offer surrender and offer you something in exchange. Right here, they're offering a slave to us, which will add a crew member. Which, sure, why not, we'll take it. And look at that, we got an NG, who are good at repairing things, but not as good at fighting things. Could have used him in that last fight. So, thanks for that. We are on our way, and oh, look at that, we hit a store. Let's head over to the store and see what we can see. See here, we can uh, pick up Notch. Well, that's handy. Notch. Or we could uh, sell some weapons, get some more scrap so we could buy things, buy consumables, buy some different systems like cloaking, which you don't have enough money for. Or we could just fix our hull and turn our way. Also, you can buy different uh, weapons, you can buy different drones, and you can buy augmentations. So, that was that. Jumping on, let's uh, see if we can't get into another fight here. Which we can. Mantis comes flying in. Alrighty then, let's see. These guys have got some a missile, which will bypass our shields. That's not good. Hopefully they don't shoot at our weapon system again. And they've got a laser, which... A burst laser, which should... Our shields should hold up against that. So, let's wait and see where they put that fire. Hit our engines, we'll throw the NG down there to repair them. Meanwhile, their shields are down, let's put some laser into our missiles. And, uh, great, missed. That's unfortunate. Let's just throw a missile right there at their weapons. That should... Ah, I thought that would kill them, but it didn't. But that's fine. A few lasers, finish them off. Uh, the enemy dies, and we get goodies. Yay, goodies. Came out of that relatively unscathed. Lost a little bit of hull, but nothing too bad. Actually, with that much, we'll be able to get our shields upgraded. So that if we had more power, we would be able to have two shields like this. Boop. And then we would have two shield bubbles, but no, we could only use one missile, so... We'll just wait, hopefully we'll find some more scrap along the way to be able to power our shields. Next hit, and it's another battle! Who cares about the reason, let's just kill him. And I haven't been doing this, but you can just go ahead and pre-target it, so that once it's ready, it'll shoot. And let's just throw auto fire on so that you can see it shoots, but it stays targeted right there to the place. Ah, they took out our missile, our weapon systems again, but that's okay. This missile's going to kill them. Boom. Kill them. Get some scraps and whatnot. I don't think that's enough to get. Now, down in the bottom right, it tells you how much scrap you need. Not there how much you have. Obviously, we don't have enough. But, that's okay. Nice, easy battle. And now we're going to go ahead and jump on to the exit. Because, as I mentioned earlier, here comes the Rebel Fleet. You're back here, then that's where you're going to be seeing the rebels. And if you're within this bit when you jump next, then you're gonna run into them. But we don't need to worry about that because we're gonna head on into the exit beacon. See if we run into anybody. Don't run into anybody. We are greeted by a science vessel who say, hey, we could use some fuel, we'll give you drone parts. Normally I would say no, but I'm getting ready to end this video. So sure, here you go, random science vehicle. 
have some fuel. So, we'll go ahead and jump. Could have hit a store if we wanted to, but whatever. Here is the sector map. You're trying to get from the left, going over to the right. Green is good, red is bad, purple is an annoyance. Typically, I try and find the path of least resistance and go through as many greens as I can, but if you're feeling gamey, you can go ahead and run through the reds. Um, and yeah, that's basically the, uh, the, basically the basics, as it were. Uh, obviously there's a lot more to this game. There's a lot of strategy, and there's infinite replayability. No two playthroughs are going to be the same. It's really a great game. I would highly recommend it. It's on Steam. I'm sure they have a website. Go find it. Go buy it. Give the developer his money. Because it is a great game. And I would love to see more of it. But, that's basically it. Be sure to check out the other videos on our channel. Give this video a like. And throw a comment down on the comment part. Down below. And, uh, yeah, that's it. I guess I will be seeing you guys next time.